Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Indiana Jones Adventure Series, Dr. Jurgen Voller. Uh, I know nothing about this character. Uh, just got him in minutes ago from Amazon. I had him on pre-order with this guy. Uh, Ronaldo, and uh, these are the two remaining ones out of this wave I war I was not going to get, but I wanted to build the Grail Table artifact, so I needed him and Ronaldo. I know nothing about them. I haven't seen Dial of Destiny, so anyway, uh, let's have a look here. We've got the same packaging, Indiana Jones Adventure Series. There you can see Dr. Jurgen Voller. Build an artifact. We've got a little uh, piece of artwork from the movie there. Dr. Jurgen Voller. Choking hazard warning. Don't put Jurgen Voller in your mouth. Why would you want to? Uh, Ages 4 plus. Plastic free packaging. Hasbro. Uh, on the side here, we've got more shots. Um, artwork shots from the movie. Multilingual. Plastic free packaging. On the side here, we've got the entire wave with the build of artifact with Jurgen Voller, Ronaldo. Elsa, Indy, Grail Knight, and Henry Jones. Henry Jones being the last one, and I will have him tomorrow. And then uh, once I do a review of him, I will do a build. Um, I will do a separate video of build of the artifact itself. Uh, Jibbery Jabbery legal jargon there. On the back here, we've got a digital rendering of Jurgen Voller and uh, his accessory. Uh, there we see the figure again. Jibbery jabbery legal jargon, ages zero to three. You know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. Disney Hasbro, and on the bottom here, we've got more jibbery jabbery legal jargon, houses of Klingon, and barcode. All right, so let's uh, pop this open. Uh, I'll pop it open, and we'll get him on the pedestal, and we'll have a look. All right, here we've got him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the accessories. First off, uh, we've got the Build of Artifact piece. We have the back of the table uh, with the uh, knight here with his little, uh, little symbol there that he's given, um, and he's holding a box. Um, it's all very well sculpted and uh, nice wash on it to give it that stone weathered uh, look on there and it's got a tab at the bottom that fits into the tabletop which I believe comes with Ronaldo um, yeah that's going to look really neat when that's all put together and I will do a separate video of that um, we'll put that over here next to all of those pieces and then we have his messenger bag or man purse if you will, uh, pretty neat looking, uh, very large. Again, I don't know who this guy is or what he represents in the movie, uh, but uh, I do love a good suit body, as you know. So this will probably end up being fodder <laughs> and get uh, customed and kit bashed out. But um, we've got a nice dark chocolate brown colored bag here with some gold accents on the uh, connectors with the strap and then the buckle on the front here we've got straps it doesn't open it's one solid piece uh, the top is a soft rubbery uh material there uh, i got a little handle on top of it uh looks pretty cool um really well done on the accessory and then we had and i freaked out because when i pulled him out i'm like this guy's supposed to have glasses but yes he does they were in the box i had to look and i like this that the, the fact that a lot of characters now are coming with glasses that's really cool like removable glasses uh, it would be nice to have removable hats. <clears throat> Indiana Jones. Uh, but, uh, you know, the Mezco one is uh, coming next year, so look out there. Uh, but, yeah, I've got a pair of glasses. I've got clear lenses on them and then uh, sort of a burgundy-colored uh, side frames and everything. Uh, so we will put that. We'll put those on him. And uh, those actually connect right around his ears, too. That's pretty dang cool. Uh, all right. And then uh, here we've got Dr. Jurgen Voller, um, whoever he is. <laughs> uh, let's get Mr. Ruler out here. And he stands at approximately, to the top of his hat, uh, six and a quarter inches tall. Um... 
let's look at the sculpt. First off, I do want to say that that is a really good likeness of uh, the I think it's Mads Mikkelsen, Michelson, um, the guy that played the bad guy in uh, Doctor Strange. Um, that it is actually a really good. Here, we'll pull the glasses off of him uh, again. See if I can do this without the floor getting them. Um, that's that's a pretty decent likeness of uh, of the actor. Uh, I will say that. Um, I'm getting these glasses on with one hand is a difficult. Okay, there we go. You just got to get them back and around the ear. Um, pretty good looking suit body. I I think it's just a reuse mostly of uh, some of the others. Um, it's not a reuse. I don't think it's a reuse of, uh, might be a reuse of Marcus. Um, at least from the waist down, I think it's, it's all reuse, but the top may be a little bit different, but, uh, yeah, we've got a, uh, dark brown hat fedora, uh, with a, uh, black, uh, band around it there. We've got a very dark chocolate suit and really kind of matches, almost matches his, his, uh, case. Um, just like the other bodies, you know, the top here, he's really skinny. <laughs> he looks so, so much bigger until you open this up and it's like, I'm a wee man. Um, yeah, I got that dark chocolate brown suit, got a uh, sky blue shirt underneath with a sort of a olive colored gr uh, green tie. Um, down to some, uh, very reddish almost like burnt umber colored uh shoes there sort of doesn't match very well i don't know um so yeah you know and then uh we've got a black belt with a little silver buckle uh paint apt on there as well get in on that uh, so yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's a very cool. I, I love the suit bodies. Uh, I, I love kit bashing out the suit bodies for civilian, uh, figures and stuff and gangsters and whatnot. So it almost, he has a very Clark Kent thing going on. Honestly, that's what I'm seeing is Clark Kent. Uh, yeah, I'm getting ideas. Okay. Uh, so the head, um, Going over articulation, head uh, all the way around. This is, is this a static neck or is this, I don't know if this is a. Okay, no, it is, it is a neck with a uh, ball peg, either ball peg on the neck or a ball peg in the body going into the upper torso. And then we've got a dumbbell going up uh, from the neck into the head. I wasn't sure. I don't think they've used those static uh, ball hinge on these Indiana Jones figures. Um, so you got full rotation on the head, uh, pretty good tilt, um, not bad down, and uh, okay on the up, not, not much on the up there. Uh, but uh, arms, uh, we got a hinge at the shoulder, full rotation on the arms, the hinges are very, very uh, in the Goldilocks zone there. Uh, you've got a hinge at the elbow with a swivel. Uh, and then the hands are more of those pegged hands that they've been using with this line. Again, don't know why. Um, you have no ab crunch, but there is a ball joint mid torso for some waist swivel and a little hula hoop action. Uh, legs all the way out to there. No drop down ball joints, but we do have a thigh swivel and a single knee with a swivel going down to the feet where we have detents on the feet and forward rockers. The, these feet being uh, on a suit body seem to function a lot better than some of the others. Uh, let's get his ace on him there. Knock the glasses. Get his, get his case on him right there. So, yeah, um, and he does have a trigger finger, which is really strange because he doesn't come with a weapon. So I'm, 
I guess it's they just reused a trigger finger. So he may be getting a gun, and I do have a set of weapons uh, that I got from eBay that I'm going to do a review on. Um, and they they look like they're really going to be something. And um, I do have a Walther P38 and a Luger in those. So uh, depending on, uh, I'll have to watch the movie first and see if he uses a weapon, and then I uh, might put one in his hand. But uh, so let's pop him off the pedestal, and we'll line him up with some other characters. See if I can line up some other suit characters, and we'll see how he scales up. Okay, here we've got him uh, lined up with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, Imperial Stormtrooper Version 2, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series, Hawkeye Kingpin, the Mezco 112th Collective, John Constantine, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics, Clark Kent. Um, you know, all in all, I really like him. I'm going to give him... Uh, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Again, with this line, um, the lack of bicep swivels, double elbows, double knees, um, they're really missing the mark on that. I, I, I'm assuming that they, the Star Wars, the whoever, whoever is doing the Star Wars Black Series line in Hasbro is handling these pro the, this project because... Um, in my opinion, Marvel or uh, Marvel, in my opinion, Hasbro, um, is not going out of the park with the Marvel legends and the GI Joes, but I fig I feel like the, this line and star Wars is lacking on, and the articulation on some figures. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. He looks good. Again, I I don't have any emotional investment in this character or Ronaldo uh, or any of the characters other than Indiana Jones with the Dial of Destiny. So I don't know. I don't know anything about him, but um, it looks cool. I love a good suit body, and it'll be fun get bashing him out. Who knows? I might just pop his head off and put. I've got an extra indie head. I might just put on him, uh, just a hatless indie head from the Obi Wan. Uh, restaurant scene or club obi-wan scene from uh beginning of temple of doom i just might put an indie head on him i don't know we'll have to see i have to watch dial of destiny first so that'll do it for this episode thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed that please remember to like comment and subscribe curse smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel you all have yourselves a great day great week i'll see you next time and until then don't forget to get your figure on take care